Hey guys, it's Loaf and Ginger. I'm the Ginger, and here's the Loaf. Say hi, Loaf. Say hi. And as always, it's hella cute up in here, but particularly, he's super cute today. He is wearing his Jack Skellington outfit, and it is wonderful. <coughs> yeah, yeah, ain't that right, Loaf? Let me adjust my camera just a smidge. I don't need to be that big. <laughs> but, um, this game is called No Humanity, and I just wanted to do a game glimpse with you guys just to spend a few minutes and let you see kind of what this is about. I found it at the Google Play Store. Um, it's free to download, and I've already created a profile on here, as you can see. We've got a LNG is our name in the center, um, and the basic premise of this game is don't die, right? <laughs> I mean, how simple can it be but it's it's not simple at all and I'm about to show you so I have played it a few minutes just to kind of see what it's about and here we go so we're gonna play and you are this cute little spacecraft and you gotta avoid all this bull crap coming at you trying to end your world and you gotta avoid the lines the projectiles and the weird drawing trash that creeps onto your screen and manages to murder you yeah and this game is rage inducing it's super fun but it's very rage inducing um and it says that my score was horrible which it, it was it was pretty horrible but we're going to try again and there's different things that you can do with it but i'm going to show you more of that later oh my gosh seems easy ah oh Let's see then again, it could just be that I suck at this. I always put myself in these weird predicaments. Oh, 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 ah! Sharks! This is nerve wracking. It's super fun. <laughs> me and my little derpy spaceship. Trying to avoid certain death. Ah, octopus. It just gets better and better. I love the um, animation and the art style of this. It's like you're on a piece of paper and there's these little cutouts almost. And I hate the dandelions, man. There's another one. And um, I'll point it out to you when I see it. But it's kind of my favorite. So, we survived for, let's see, we survived for 13 seconds. What do you know? Um, if you notice at the bottom of the screen, there's a shield option and then there's a reward option. Uh, the shield option's pretty nice. Um, let's, let's just try it and I'll show you. Each run starts with a temporary shield while active. Okay. You have to watch an ad to do it, I think. Let's, let's see. Okay. And we're back. So, I watched an ad in an attempt to use... Okay, so we've got shield now. So, we're going to use the shield. Yes. And we're going to retry. See, now you have this cute little shield. But you get hit once and the shield dissipates. See, like that. Shield is gone. Get killed by the sharks. Good work, Captain. So we've completed six missions, and you collect coins to progress. Let's retry one more time. We got our shield. Oh, 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 dinosaur. Dinosaur of death. Dang it, they still haven't showed my favorite one. Let's try it one more time. I gotta show you my favorite. And I died right away. So, and I lost my spaceship. <laughs> okay, well, here we go. So we're gonna go back home. But anyway, my favorite uh, attack mechanic, it's, it looks like a little kid. It's a drawing and it pokes its head up in the corner and then it's got these weird hair spikes and they go and they stab you. Cause your imminent demise. <laughs> That's my favorite one. It says I'm hopeless. 
Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, this game is definitely rage worthy. Um, so we're going to explore some of the options at the bottom just so you can see what's offered. But you've got a claw option. And this is really cute. It's like a classic claw machine. And you have to have tokens to play. And you can do this by watching ads or using your coins to upgrade. Um, and those little avatars in the claw machine, you'll see what they're used for in a minute. So we go to ships. There are different ships available, and you can upgrade tiers by using coins. And I have two ships available. I have my little green ship here, and then I have one that looks like a light bulb. Pretty neat. So we're going to activate the ship, and now it's selected. Let's go back. Um, so those are ships that you can look at. I wonder what this button does. Oh, so these are the different ships. Tier 2. So those are all the different things. Um, or avatars. And if you hit play, it takes you back to the to the play screen. And this is a fun feature. This is multiplayer. So you can actually join a room and play with your friends. So let's just do a quick join. And you'll see what the crane is for. Or some, one of the things you can use the crane for, if I'm not mistaken. A room has been found entering the party. It's taking its dear sweet time. He's so cute today. What am I talking about? He's cute every day. Okay, this has taken quite a while. Um, I just went ahead and canceled out of that. Let's see. Refresh. And of course, you have, you can select weapons. Um, we're gonna pick the ax. And this is what your little avatar is going to look like, is the light bulb with the axe or whatever you have selected with the axe. You have clothing, different things that you can decorate with. Um, let's see if it'll... There we go. Okay, it's working this time. So we're waiting for them to finish their last game. Alright, so we're ready. And the crane, you can actually get avatars out of the crane or unlock them sooner and that's that's my understanding so the goal here is to survive longer than your teammates and they can murder you with their weapons and I just died I got killed by the dinosaur let's see and we will go again we got Maleficent a moose a Rubik's Cube. And I'm not sure what the little... Ah, what do I do? How do I use that? I don't know what to do. I'm awful at this. <laughs> oh. Okay. I've got a mouse pointer. And... Well, well, well. Oh, that looks cool. I've never seen that before. That death mechanic. <laughs> Do it one more time. Oh no. So guys, Loaf has a new security item. And most kids like blankies or stuffed animals. Loaf likes a plastic baby shark. It's supposed to be a bathtub toy. You put it in the bath and it swims with him. And I think he just realized that baby shark is not with him. Okay. Oh, I can emote tears for my imminent death. Oh, there's jellies. Oh my gosh. Maybe I'm moving too much. I've noticed that a lot of these people, they just kind of sit still and they wait. Where am I at? So I didn't do that bad that time. Or did I? Yeah, I did pretty bad. Looks his mom. You did bad. So that's the killing Deadpool. Um, and then, of course, you have the shop at the end. 
uh, end of our little menu at the bottom and you can purchase new things you can uh, you know get more coins tokens a little bit of everything it looks like um, and you also have these gems but I don't really know what those are used for okay and there's different worlds you can play in so this is original you've got ocean Big Bang bullet hell Chinese laser challenge Christmas Chinese New Year all-stars and back to original so Trying to think of which one I would want to play the most. Probably the laser challenge. That looks cool. Bullet hell. Hmm. Okay. I don't know why, but saying that makes me think about cluster truck. Because, <laughs> well, you'll just have to play cl cluster truck and get to the end and find out why I think about that. Um, but guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Um, you know, thank you so much for watching, comment, like, and subscribe. Um, let me know what other games you're interested in so I can give you a little preview of it and maybe help save you some time. I know a lot of people, we, we all live in limited time. We're working, we have families. There's so much going on in the world right now. And I would love to just help you out with that. And there's so many cool games out in the world. And it's a blessing in a way because there's so many neat things to play. But at the same time, not every game is meant for every person. And I know what it feels like when you're hyped up to play something and then you play it and you invest some time into it. And then you don't like it. And it's almost like you feel that there was a loss of time and that you could have been, you know, using that time for something else or playing a different game that you might like. So let me know how I can help. Uh, but thank you and may God keep you today.